You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness uh, Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met the commander of the U.S. Central Command, General Joseph Votel, at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of bilateral cooperation between the United States of America and Bahrain in the interest of regional security and stability. His Royal Highness went on to highlight efforts to reduce regional tension in line with internationally recognized conventions and laws, particularly in cases of state sovereignty and non interference in domestic affairs. His Royal Highness outlined the long standing strategic relations between Bahrain and the U.S. at all levels, particularly in defense, noting that the alliance had long supported the balance of power in the region. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review various regional and international developments and issues of mutual concern. The BDF's Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar al-Naimi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the president of the U.S. Soccer Federation, Carlos Cordera, the president of the Mexican Football Federation, Decio Di Maria, and the general secretary of the Canadian Soccer Association, Peter Montopoli, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the delegation to Bahrain and commended the role of football in bringing countries and people together, as well as promoting the values of fair play, teamwork, and perseverance amongst the youth. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahrain, under His Majesty King Hamad's leadership, is committed to further development developing the field of sports and to promoting cooperation with global organizations. The president of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued today two edicts for 2018. Edict 15 annulled Article 1 of Edict Number 17 of 2002 on the formation of the executive body in the municipalities. Edict 16 annulled Article 33 of the Executive Bill issued in Edict Number 16 of 2002 of the municipality law that was issued in Decree by Law Number 35 of 2001. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace a number of state officials, intellectuals, journalists, business people and scores of citizens. The Premier expressed appreciation for the role of residents and foreign communities in contributing to the development of the Kingdom. He affirmed support to all measures to increase the Kingdom's investment competitiveness. His Royal Highness called to instill the values of coexistence and tolerance in society to fortify national unity and protect the Kingdom against attempts of undermining its security and stability. During the meeting, the Premier stressed keenness on communicating with the people, adding that such meeting highlights the concerns and proposals of the people to further enhance public services and direct the government towards meeting the needs of the people. His Rohan has hailed the contributions of the people of Bahrain to their country, which contributed immensely to its development. He also stated that the kingdom is working on implementing the goals of sustainable development. The premier praised the content of the national press and its intellectual richness, noting its role in enlightening society on regional and international causes and affairs. His Rohan has went on to praise Bahraini journalists, stressing the need to adhere to values of tolerance and respect to maintain the kingdom's status as a model of openness.
Under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the closing ceremony of the fourth edition of the Mixed Martial Arts World Championship was held yesterday. The event organized by the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation was attended by the president of the International Federation of Mixed Martial Arts, Mr. Gareth Brown, president of the Women's Sports at the Olympic Committee and president of the Bahrain Table Tennis Association, Sheikh Hayat bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, and president of the Bahrain Martial Arts Federation, Khalid Abdul Aziz Al Khayat. MMAF Chief Executive Officer Denzin White and other officials. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad expressed his happiness at the distinguished performance of players throughout the tournament, which contributed to the success of the event, wishing them continued luck and success. His Highness also met with the President of the IMMAF and the Chief Executive Officer, where he exchanged talks about the Kingdom's great capabilities to host the various international tournaments, including the Fifth World Amateur Championships, to be held in November. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad also met with the players who participated in the finals of the competition. Then His Highness honored patrons and the winners of the competition. The results of the final encounters of the MMA competitions were as follows. Hassan Mekki won the first place in the weight of 52 kilograms after defeating Ali Jafar. Faisal Ahmed won the weight of 56 kilograms after with the withdrawal of Mohammed Ismail. Mansour Mohamedov won the weight of 61 kilograms after beating Abdullah Zayed al shweikh won the 65 kilogram title after defeating Salah Jalal. Mohamed Samir won the 70 kilogram title after beating Hamad Hamoud and Yusuf Khalid won the 77 kilogram title after after defeating Hussein Al Mahdi. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association and honorary president of the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa stated that the second edition of the Strongest Bahraini Man Championship will be held in February of 2019 from the 21st until the 23rd, organized by the media office of His Highness under the theme Be a Monster, which comes within the initiatives of His Highness that support the humanitarian and sports fields. His Highness directed the championship Supreme Organizing Committee to prepare for the qualifying finals in July. His Honor Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in his match seeking Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's follow up of the championship, which contributed to the success of the sports event. His Honor expressed pride in his match see the King's support of sports, which is a motivation to launch initiatives aimed at contributing to the advancement of the sports sector and to encourage Bahraini youth to exercise to form national teams that can compete in foreign competitions and achieve honorable results. He expressed pride in meeting with His Majesty along with the members of the Supreme Organizing Committee and the first place winners in the first edition of the championship. He also noted that the championship will continue to achieve the goals and aspirations set by His Highness through the tournament. His Highness invited all Bahraini youth to register and participate in the qualifying finals. An implementation of the Your Country Comes First initiative launched by the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association and honorary president of the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation, is Hanish Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to support the scientific and humanitarian fields. Abdurrahman Kano International School, in partnership with the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, began the work of the initiative in Mharag through the restoration of poor condition houses in the governorate. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the students' efforts to implement the initiative, affirming that the initiative 
initiative comes in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to continue the efforts exerted to enhance sustainable development work in all countries' sectors and to establish developmental and social concepts for community members, especially the youth, to build a prosperous future for Bahrain. He added that the initiative develops the youth's volunteering and philanthropic work that serves the community. He stated that the initiative will enhance the youth's skill and their sense of responsibility to translate the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, of promoting the concepts of national values. His Highness expressed aspirations to create ideas that strengthen social connections to build a stronger society characterized by compassion and cooperation. He hailed the efforts of the school's administration, chaired by Abdul Aziz Jassim Kano, to implement the initiatives, wishing the students success in the initiative work. Your Country Comes First is an initiative that comes within the humanitarian and educational fields that focuses on the reconstruction of houses through voluntary work. The initiative aims to helping others in need, as well as enhancing the unity of the Bahraini society. Students from Abdurrahman Kano International School gather today to implement the first phase of the initiative of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. I'm very proud that after 10 years of charity work out of Bahrain, uh, when we targeted that our students become global citizens and work in different countries and serve different uh, different communities, we, we, we're back to our place to where everything started, to where we want to show our students that you need to serve your country first. This is the best part out of the whole initiative. We're very proud and happy to have His Highness um, be part of this. Uh, the moral support that the students get, that the school gets to do such work is really important and it pushes us for we to do more than what we're doing right now. The event encouraged a number of young people to provide a helping hand and to be a part of the development march of the kingdom. It provides them with the true value of voluntary works that will motivate them to leave a remarkable print after hard and collective efforts. The act of voluntary and charity works began outside the kingdom, which paved the way to implement everything learned in the kingdom under the initiative Your Country Comes First, which is a translation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. It feels amazing, honestly, knowing that we're able to help a family. It's like a life-changing thing we're doing here. Just imagining being in their place and just having the situation, I would love to have people come help me. So it feels amazing that I'm able to be somebody who helps them in such a hard situation. It's such a wonderful and very unique experience. I've gotten to give back to the community and help the people in my society in order to improve their lives and improve their living conditions. I feel very honored that I'm being a part of such an important cause that is not, it's helping my country. The true purpose behind this idea is to encourage the youth to have high spirit, interaction and willingness to help others, as well as provide them with the ability to build a brighter future for the Kingdom of Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met today the Commander of the U.S. Central Command, General Joseph Votel, in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi. Sheikh Khalifa welcomed the Commander of the U.S. Central Command and his accompanying delegation, hailing the deep-rooted and historic relations between the two countries, also the cooperation and fraternal relations and means of enhancing them, as well as the development they witness in various fields have been discussed. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, in which it approved a draft law issuing the health insurance law, accompanied by Decree 87 of 2016, according to the report submitted by the Services Committee on the Draft Law, in the presence of the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah al Khalifa, and the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh.